Happy New Year. This is the Day Trading Genius Daily Review for January 7th. I'm Scott, and joining us is Coach Rob. Coach Rob, all the best in the new year. Same to you, Scott. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So we're going to take a look. Our purpose is just to show you that it's possible to make money trading stock options in a very short period of time, that being the period of time that you actually get into the option and get out and that it doesn't take you a year to make two percent on your money so of course this is a new year so new years new rules new resolutions new everything so uh you know no longer is possible to make any money in stock options is that correct coach rob oh no that'll never be correct brother there's always opportunities and uh we have uh the 7th of january want to jump right into that Yes, let's take a look at the 7th of January. All right, outstanding. As per uh, our usual habit, I pull up the basket, which is a collection of the best options for that day. And I take it all the way to the end of the day in our replay simulator. You can see it was a, a relatively up day, trending day. You can see that marked right there. However, it was a pretty low volume day. You don't see a ton of volume, a little tiny bit early in the morning. So there were not too many opportunities, but there's still potential for profit in uh, situations like this. So I'd like to target Netflix, and I'm going to bring away the basket, and we'll get Netflix on um, a call, which is when you're essentially making money on the stock price going up. So we'll zoom it back to about the 10 o'clock hour. And stay by. Okay, 10, 1025, we had, uh, oh, we went to uh, NVIDIA. So Netflix is starting to build here. It's breaking out of the risk zone, and you can see it's a green move. It's way above opening price, and you can see some, some pertinent intel right here, right on the screen for you. 20-day break above, that means Netflix. I don't even need to look at time scales. I know that Netflix has, is on an uptrend over the last 20 days. So this is a good opportunity to buy. We're starting to get signal in the background. We're not quite there with K-Band, but we'll call that good right there. We'll buy a call. And this, when I say buy a call in our replay simulator, you have this nice buy close window. And you start with the commissions already accounted for. So you're already at minus 1%, but it's a pretty strong green move. So we'll move forward one minute at a time. And we're sitting, we're break, breaking even already, just one minute into it. And that signal's still coming on, and we've got K band joining signal. Nice move. Now, to the untrained eye, this is exactly what we were profit planning for. We wanted Netflix to make it up to this resistance line, RB. And that's a pretty, everybody knows that line, everybody out there on the market. So it's a pretty good, pretty high likelihood that it's going to have a turnaround or at a minimum, a sideways action right at that, at that line. So this is a good time to take your profits and run. And we'll exit that trade with a 9% gain in just four minutes. Beautiful, beautiful. So the RB line is a resistance line where it's just basically a place that tells us be aware that something could be happening that uh, is a change on what happened just before. And rather than go through the agony of watching it kind of go up and down and up and down and bang against the ceiling, we're going to take the easy way out, the non-stressful way, take our, take our money and enjoy life. Exactly. It's exactly what we're planning for. And when they when prices encounter resistance or support lines like that, it's really just a matter of risk uh, risk management, and you just don't know what's going to happen. So why risk it when it gets toward in that territory? Excellent. Was there another trade you wanted to take a look at for the seventh? Absolutely. It's just a little bit about an hour later. Check out Alibaba, and I'll move our oh there our nice GTFO timer for Netflix was going off. All right, so Alibaba around the 11.30, 11.45, let's see. It was another call and starting to build on a green trend. 
But again, let me take the trade summary out of the way. We had that resistance line uh, that we were cognizant of, but it's it's kind of if you just look at the pattern of, of Baba over the last 10 minutes or so, it was kind of on the fence. It wasn't deciding whether it was going to break above or below that RA line. And so this is what we were talking about in the last trade, right? Not that we know that that's exactly what happened. Sometimes it doesn't, but you can see how it broke the line, it went below it, it broke it, it went below it. And this is one of the, this is where you get high stress, high uncertainty and it's a lot better to be out before or get in after uh, you hit these lines yeah that's a good summary and and the way i'd say it for the uninitiated is it's, it's very sticky the the prices and the candles tend to stick around these points and just wait for them to unstick themselves right now you can see we got some market indicators so the general market is going up a uh, nice and strong green move in the market so that's that's kind of where we're leaning, but we need Baba to prove it to us. So this is about the time that you'd want to be getting getting in there because it's it's declared through that second candle that and the K band coming on that we're pretty much we got our move, we're moving green. So go ahead and jump in on a call. Move forward a few minutes at a time. We're already at one percent, three percent, and then Eight percent. That's that's that might be where you want to get out for this one, because not only do these resistance lines that are printed for you on the chart act sticky, so do some big price points like 144, 145. So the market is supporting this move. You could get out here with an eight percent gain, and I think that's what we'll do. And we'll we'll do Scott's favorite exercise and just see see where it would have gone and. If we would have introduced any more risk, had some resistance there, and well, a little bit, a little bit more could have squeezed out maybe 10, 12 percent in there, and that would have been nice. But eight percent is pretty good too. So and you can see from the size of the candles that it's getting less uh, less sure that it wants to go up. Agreed. This this sh shape and size of the candle with the range and the wick there. And you're you're dropping off in volume, so it's just a good time to to GTFO and move on. So just a little bit forward from uh, the, our last one, which was a Baba call. We go over to Nvidia, and yet again we're talking about resistance lines. We had RB. That's a as a resistance line, a price point that a lot of uh, buyers and sellers out there know about. So once the stock gets to that point. It can tend to stick around that price range, and that's exactly what we saw NVIDIA do. <clears throat> but now we're getting some some breakouts, some break above that RB line, and good conditions for, for entry around this time. Let's go ahead and buy a call. It's a little low volume moment. We would like more volume, but take what you can get on a day like this what, that we covered in the basket. And just a, a few seconds later, you've got mm, you've got nice higher highs. We're we're still kind of early in the trend, and we're getting some volume support. If you see right here on that little purple histogram, poking its head out, that's that's excessive volume. So that should keep us in in the trade for at least a couple minutes, and we'll see where this this guy actually goes to. And we'll bring a buy sell back up. So right there in the first couple minutes, we've got an 11% gain, which is worth taking. And I, I think I think we'll close that out and be happy with 11% in just four minutes. Nice. Yeah, a lot better than putting it into the bank, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. So let's take a look at the three trades that we did on January 7th. All right, right there. So four minutes, we had Netflix, 9%. Uh, Baba in four minutes was just under 8%. And Nevada in five minutes was 11.1%. .1%. So a pretty good day's work. Yeah, for those three, absolutely. And 
relatively easy to sniff out if you just pay attention to those resistance lines. And I think that's that's probably the coach's tip for the day is just just wait for that stock ticker to declare its direction around those resistance lines. Uh, so you're saying not like at the horse races where you're saying, come on, baby, come on, baby, two <laughs> no more rooting. points. That's right. No, no rooting. You just you just wait for it to tell you. Wait for the obvious ones. Awesome. Thank you, Coach Rob. Appreciate you. Appreciate you sharing this information with everybody. And thanks for joining us. This has been the Day Trade Trader Genius Daily Review for January 7th, 2019. I look forward to seeing you on our next show. Our purpose is to show you that there is opportunity in the market. The risk of making the money is, is uh, a lot less than the risk of not bothering to get in and learn these techniques, these tools and get the coaching that will take you to the next level in your trading. See you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.